and it's written, ועמך ישראל, כולם צדיקים. And your nation of Israel, they're all righteous. Sounds like a joke, right? <laughs> like, it's hilarious. <laughs> funny. The funniest verse ever. Like, where is it written? In the yellow pages? Like, where? Which commercial? Where? Like, what do you mean? In an aspect, you can find yourself that you're not righteous. So, to which aspect of our life that verse is, is referring? To tell us that we're all righteous. And also, to make this question even deeper and even harder to answer, when we are calling all of Am Israel righteous, we're not saying, and all the Jews are righteous. We're saying, all the nation of Israel. And the nation of Israel, we're talking about 12 tribes. Israel is not only the name of the tribe of Judah, that those are the Jewish people that we are part of. Okay, I'm Jewish, I'm Israeli. No, not only you. Also, the last 10 tribes are also Am Israel, and they are for sure not as righteous as you would think that they should be, because part of them will be related to different religions as of today. Part of them can even hate Am Israel today and don't even know that they're also part of Am Israel. Like we saw that there were neo-Nazis that after 20 years of, of being so radical suddenly realized, oh, they were Jewish. And like, oh, now you have to deal with, with your new reality, like face the fact. So you have people today that lives in different cultures, in different states, completely disconnected from all of Jewish tradition and, 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 and from all attributes and, and, and ways of, of manners like we would, would describe as holy and right and like we're going to say the righteous ones are holding and keeping those obligations. They're so far from it. Like they can have many wives, different cultures. They can live in the desert somewhere, I don't know where, like different foreign ways of, of manners and behavior. So how can we tell that that verse is saying the truth. Ba'amech Israel kulam tzadikim. How can it be? Only if you go back to the root of our creation. Only if you go into the depths of our spirits. If you judge the person favorably, completely, ignoring completely from his manners, completely from his behaviors, only then when you look deep into the roots of his soul, you can say on that person, he is righteous. Because every single one of us, and even those ones that are working hard to fix ourselves as much as we can, we're failing on a daily basis. We're failing with our beloved ones on a daily basis. No one is able to hold on, always righteous, always pure, always holy, always amazing, always inspiring, all, always illuminating, always shining. It doesn't work like that. Even Rabbi Nachman of Breslev, that he was the righteous one that came to offer potions and cures and medicines to the lowest level of our people. He opened the gates of tshuva and offered a new opportunity to those ones that are in the four wings of the world. He went to the lowest places of them all and called people to come back. Even he said that if you want to be a kosher person, you must go through thousands of up and downs in your life. Like there is no way out from this crazy roller coaster of life. You want to have to climb and fall, climb and fall, up and down, up and down, all of your life if you want really to be purified. If you want to find yourself clean in the end of the day. Like a washing machine. You cannot just throw the, clothing, the clothes into the bucket with water and after a couple of days it will be clean. If you're not going to rub it, if you're not going to put it into those crazy circles for half an hour in crazy heat of fresh water with soap and like everything that is needed for the filth to leave the fibers, the, 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 the fabric, there is no way out for the filth except of through those struggles. And those are our life experiences. And in those hours, 
we can recognize the hidden light that is waiting for those righteous ones. In those life experiences, when we are facing the ups and when we are facing the downs, when we're hitting the brick wall, when we are finding ourselves in front of an obstacle that we don't have no understanding how to deal with, in those moments you can find that hidden light. How? Like we said, only if you're gonna ignore your physicality completely and gonna judge yourself favorably with no end and you will stare only to the roots of your soul and you're gonna ignore everything that you see, all the judgments. All the defaults, all the defects, all the filth, all the crimes, all the sins, all your past, all your patterns, all your way of behaviors, all your way of reactions, all your way of thinking. You're going to drop it all and just going to focus in the secret of your creation. Hey, you know who am I? I am a godly portion, I am a chelek, a loka mimal. The Creator, He knows exactly what each and every one of us should experience to wake up.